Hello everyone. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> I feel like I say that every video, but I am back with a video for you today that I'm super excited about because I I did a bad and I did good. A bad and a good. <clears throat> I went antiquing, um, which was the bad. But the good was that I found some amazing finds that I'm actually going to, I think, share in my Etsy shop. Um, if you've been on my Etsy shop for any period of time, first, welcome. Thank you for supporting my small business and simultaneously my family. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. Um, if you've been on there for any period of time, you notice that I do mostly vintage sewing, so sewing notions, fabric, patterns, um, but I also do vintage reproduction, sewing and handmade goods, things like that. Um, <clears throat> and so along with that vintage reproduction comes certain accessories that you might need for photo shoots, or if you're just a vintage lover like me. Um, I am not a collector of these things, naturally, but um, I am a collector of vintage, meaning uh, 1940s, 1950s in particular, catalogs that uh, showcase some of the things that I found out in the wild today. I'm so excited, I can't believe I found these, so I'm going to share them with you, and I'm sharing them with you on social media before they hit my Etsy shop. So this is also kind of a um, social media exclusive sneak peek at what I've got. So if you were interested, please send me a message. We can chat about how to get you these items. So <clears throat> I haven't even taken them out of my bag yet. Mm, I don't think I want to show you that one just yet. I feel like I should save some of the best for last. Okay, so first up is this incredible handbag. It's uh, beaded. Um, I think beaded by hand. This is a probably mid 40s I would say. I'm, I'm kind of bad at dating this particular type of handbag um, but if I can get this off of here and do it in a careful manner in order to show you. Uh, this is the kind of handbag <clears throat> that does not lay flat necessarily. It will open up like so. Great condition. Um, there are, there's a little bit of tearing, wear and tear, um, where the previous owner would have used this and put the most strain on it. But everywhere else, you to see the inside there but <clears throat> the rest of the lining is in great condition um, it sits like so in my hand um, still has the original beaded uh, like tassels on the end but gorgeous piece and it has that beadwork all the way around some straw detailing on the outside Kind of a, I wouldn't say floral exactly, but um, reminds me of like a floral print. They almost look like clouds to me. Isn't like this gorgeous? Anyway, <clears throat> so there is one that I'm really excited about. Uh, the next one that I found, I will show you, but I'm not putting it in the shop. I'm sorry, this one's mine. Because of the vintage handbags, these I do collect. Um, found this absolutely stunning tapestry bag. I love these. Um, or needlepoint bags, I love those. Um, <clears throat> theater bags, I just think that the, and actually if you've looked at any of my sewing videos over on YouTube, um, you may have noticed that I have some of these um, 
tapestries lining my wall. Um, but I just love, I think the intricacy, the artwork on these things is just incredible. So I found that too, but sorry, that's not going in the shop. I also, mm, I'm gonna save that one to show you later as well. I kind of went ham with uh, my purchases because there were just so many good things, including, um, I'm pretty darn sure that this is a cord, C-O-R-D-E handbag. Has the original metal zipper on here and kind of a seashell shape. Just a little handbag from the I would guess <clears throat> 40s, possibly 50s, um, but the lining is in spectacular condition. Hard to show you there too. And obviously if these make it to the shop and nobody requests them beforehand, um, I will have close-up pictures of all of these. But the detailing on the outside is just immaculate. So. <clears throat> There's one beauty there. Um, also, a not raffia and not crochet. Would this may also be a cord bag. I can't remember if you would call this a cord or if this would be in the crocheted bag category, but also from the 40s. This puppy right here, kind of a <clears throat> clutch handbag, black obviously, but again, incredible detailing along the top there. Gorgeous. Also in spectacular condition. Um, original metal zipper. Um, that's another, that's kind of a hot tip for you guys. If you are interested in handbags but not always sure if you are coming across a an actual <clears throat> um, vintage, vintage handbag or if you just found something from a few years ago um, that is like, I don't know, 80s does 40s, that's pretty popular. Uh, 90s does, you know, whatever, insert decade here. Um, those will often have the nylon zippers. True Vintage is going to have these metal zippers, okay? Even though nylon did, was obviously available, um, it took a little bit to uh, catch on in terms of, like, accessories and, and um, being put into those things. So <clears throat> look for those. Um, inside this gorgeous bag, sorry, I'm not very good at, at the filming, uh, <laughs> but in here is the original like pocket mirror. The pocket mirror does have a chip on it, but it's double-sided. Um, so that little glass mirror sits in. There's a small mirror pocket inside of this lovely bag. So there's that. <clears throat> Mm, I'm going to save that one too. I'm going to move on to some of my favorites, uh, including this gorgeous beauty. This one I'm definitely going to take lots of pictures of and put it up for you all, but this is a paisley detailing True Vintage fans out there are going, oh, yes, I know what that is, and I'm going to show you. Where's the label on here? There we go, right in front of my face. Heading in Davis. Handbag. Metal chain mail type handbag. Um, the lining inside is in just wonderful condition. Um, <clears throat> no staining, no tearing, no visible like wear anywhere in the lining here. Um, there's an inside pocket. <clears throat> it has the designer's uh, signature lining on the inside, and then a metal enclosure, um, snap enclosure, magnetic. It has these gorgeous studs along here. Again, chain mail. Um, if you're not familiar with their clutch handbags, you should be because they're incredible, but uh, the chainmail style handbag is just that. It's like a chainmail type 
lining and it is wrapped around kind of like a shell layer to the outside of the handbag and then of course matching paisley handle <clears throat> you could kind of toss over and look fabulous <laughs> okay uh, I walked in to this place and this is the first thing that I found and I cannot oh sorry for the camera shifting I can't believe that I found this in the wild I've never seen one that was not uh, mine <laughs> but I found a plastic flex clutch handbag with the original Lucite little charm hole tab um, this is a chocolate brown again original metal zipper and the lining also in great condition and I can put that on my side just a little bit to show you easier but original plastic flex label there um, the outside the tiles are all in spectacular condition except for one Let me see if I can even find it. There we are. Only one of these has a little chip on it. <clears throat> it's clearly damaged in transit somewhere. Um, but that's the only damage, this little guy right here. But I can see on any of the tile work, the lining, like I said, is in great condition. And then the loose side, there's no detailing on here. It's just clear. Actually slightly opaque I would say from age but um, it's just stunning I prefer the um, the darker colors the multicolored plastic flicks um, <clears throat> clutch handbags anyway so I was super excited to find that the last thing I want to show you is this puppy and I asked them to like wrap it very carefully because it's wonderful to see this again. I found this. It is a uh, Lucite <clears throat> little box handbag. Metal detailing around the sides. The label, if you could see, is inside. I'll try to open it up. Um, the clasp, by the way, it's kind of a metal clasp opening, opens very easily. Again, great condition. And then the original label on here, Tyrolene, Tyrolene, I'm not quite sure how you say that, I forget, um, from New York, label is inside, you can see that on the back, oh, but just wonderful filigree. With a little bit of floral edging. Like I said, I'm not a collector of these things. I'm, I'm not a bag person. I'd like give me a pocket any day over a handbag, but I can certainly appreciate the artistry and the craftsmanship on these things. Um, when they say they don't make them like they used to, they're they're not kidding. Like this is just. This right here is incredible. Um, on here, by the way, there's some slight wear and tear on the handle. I'm not sure if you can even see that because it's so light, but little dots of um, some aging on there. And uh, I should make clear that I have not, uh, I just got those home. Like I was too excited to do anything with them before filming this. So um, I have not cleaned them up. I have not done a super, super close inspection. Obviously, I inspected them at the store and uh, <clears throat> before I purchased them. But some of this, I'm pretty sure, will clean off. That little spot, for example, I'm sure will clean off. Um, and once I take a closer look at the other bags, if I notice any issues whatsoever with them, I will, of course, make that clear in the listings, but if 
you to take any of these gorgeous ladies home with you. I don't like how that came out. Um, if you want to, if you want to buy a handbag, <laughs> uh, send me a message. I will um, leave this video up for a couple days while I am finishing uh, photographing and sourcing all of my um, reference material for pricing, things like that. Um, and so in that time period, if you are interested, send me a message um, and then they will go live by um, probably Thursday or Friday. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and uh, yeah, I hope you're able to get one of these beautiful, beautiful handbags. Okay, see you later.